So I practice a thing. I'm gonna explain it like this. I practice this thing called no fab. And what no fab is, is basically when you're not ejaculating. When you're not ejaculating, basically what you're doing is you're basically retaining your semen. And some people call it, you know, semen retention, which is a different version of it in my opinion, because it's semen retention, you're more focused, it's more of a spiritual thing. And no fab is more of a habit breaking thing. And I could say, um, I could say more so on no fab and semen retention. They're both kind of tied to tie with each other because of the simple fact that you're basically doing one thing. You're rising, you're raising your vibration. I've been practicing this for years. Like it's one of the easiest practices to actually raise your vibration up to get a deeper voice, to actually get secure skin, to get higher attraction. Like if you really want to shift realities, you have to think about things that you can do to literally just shift realities. Like literally propel you into a different different field. And honestly, semen retention, no fab, is one of the fastest ways to kind of like shift into a high vibration and to attract the people or certain types of beings or things of that nature or the lifestyle that you desire to be honest with you why is because you're like backing up from all the sins of the world you're backing up from one of the most biggest internet addictions of our generation is pornography you're backing up completely from that and what that enables you to do is increase your testosterone far more heavier and get you a whole lot more calibrated back into reality of life instead of you being caught up on this thing called a cell phone now it's like with all that extra energy it's going to prevail you to do a whole lot more stuff like record videos or go do things that you want to do go have adventurous fun instead of you just like being dead behind a computer screen or in your room and the only thing you're doing is spending 15 minutes of ejaculation and then that knock off your whole schedule and then basically the only thing you're doing is sleeping and now it causing your body to try to fully recover everything it lost and i'm actually bringing i'm gonna tell you a scientific fact is another thing it takes minimum every time you ejaculate it takes at least three days to recover from one ejaculation one time and for some cases as you get older as a male it can that three days can go to seven days and that seven days can go to a week and that all really depends on your diet, how fit you are, how active you are, um, and a lot of other different variations. So as a blog may tell you, or a doctor may tell you, oh, you ejaculate uh, every three days and it takes three days for you to fully restore. Well, as it takes you fully three days, let's say I'm on a propel like this, right? And every day is growth, right? Every day is a new day and it's growth. Well, if I'm growing and I'm doing semen retention and no fab, then basically I'm growing here, all right? Every day is growth. Everything I eat inside my body, everything I consume is adding to my body and adding to that energy and it's getting placed it in the right form. Now, if I'm ejaculating, all right, as I'm growing and let's say another version of me in a parallel universe is ejaculating and then so they're right here, we both start right here, no fab, Next day, we here. Ejaculation, we here. All right, three days later, I'm here. No fab, and I stick to the three-day principle of no ejaculation, I'm back here. Three days recovery. Instead of three days of me being up here, when you're doing that in three days, you're just coming back to the point of right here. But what, what you lost is the time of that time span between that. And so that's why I say, you know, if you just do it, if you just practice all together, just from reframing to the sense of the world and stuff like that, then it's gonna be far more easier for you to kind of like propel to the attraction level that you're supposed to be at. And so that's why I preach and that's a personal secret. I never talk about it. This is probably the first video I'm actually talking about it on it. And I was kind of practicing this way before no fab or the terminology start to come and bubble up on the internet and back in 2000 and like 2001 2000 or something i think i just got a relationship and so basically when you're in a relationship you're, you know how that's gonna go you're gonna be sexually active pretty much pretty much every day or basically multiple times during the day 
So you can't, you can, but the thing about that is when you're in a relationship with someone, it's more of an energy transfer. So as I pour my energy into her, she pours her energy back into me. So it's more of an energy transfer. And you, when you're out of a relationship and you're just basically babbing or ejaculating, basically what you're doing is you're decreasing that energy because you're not pouring, you're pouring your energy out into the streets as the Bible will say, but you're not having any energy being poured back into you. So that just decreases the value. And so instead of you increasing in your vibration level, you're decreasing in your vibration level every single time, if that makes sense. And from there, initially, that's what can take you to the next level. So if you really want to have attraction at the tip of your button, like, boom, I want a beach house. <laughs> now you have to have that high vibration in order to attract that. And no five in there, I can say semen retention is actually going to do that. But you have to understand, if you want to shift realities, you have to give up some of those sins. And you have to give up some of that stuff. Because on a physical form, the only thing that you're doing is ejaculating, going to sleep. And your body is forced to recover to get back to where you were. And so you lose the time, the energy, and it knocks your schedule completely off track of your life. Not just like what your desire schedule is, but what your life want is to be. And so that's the control, that's the schedule of life that's in control of your life that you're unaware of, not the schedule of control of life that you're trying to have. Like, there's two versions of it. Like, I'll, some people may say, God have a plan and you have a plan. But if your plan is not aligned with God's plan, then initially you're going to be upset. But at the same time, is understanding having high vibration will give you those doors of the easy pathway with God plan. Rather than having low vibration, you may look at everything as negative. Now, there, don't get me wrong, some people enjoy being in low vibration and some people don't enjoy being in low vibration. But the thing is, is if you can, ex if you can back up and refrain from temporarily gains, like temporarily, like temporary gains for longevity gains, and senior retention is saying, hey, I don't want something, I don't want a piece of candy right now. I want cake later on. You see what I'm saying? Like, hey, I don't want to get full off of eating all these can all this candy today. I want to get full off this full meal, this complete meal later on. And thinking like that, you're thinking more long term and it opens your eyes up to a whole lot more and you find yourself declining a whole lot more of temporarily offers that may be presented to you. Like, you're not gonna settle for less. Like, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you an example. So, I am a traveler. I'm back in South Carolina right now. Uh, in the past year of 2000 and, what year is it? It's 2023. I probably live in three states this year, if not four. No, just three states this year. I only live in three states this year. I only live in South Carolina, Houston, and Vegas, Las Vegas. When I was in Vegas, when I first, I'm originally from South Carolina, so when I live in South Carolina, I met beautiful girls, but they wasn't all that, you know? Like, it was beautiful, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of beautiful women in the Carolinas, a lot of beautiful women. But when I went to other states, I seen different types of women. And so when I went to Vegas, for instance, I actually sat down with, a, with like two girls that I was really, really into. One was a journalist from Germany and one was a physicist, like a scientist. So both of those girls was like amazing to me. If I never would have hold myself and traveled abroad and kept a high vibration, even though I was feeling like a low vibration state, if I never would have did that, I never would have met those two women. And if I would have stayed at a low vibration state, I probably would have been settling for less. So I say that to say this, if you hold your vibration to a higher standpoint, sometimes you will meet those beautiful women, not just looking good, but that are amazing. So that's the difference. You don't just want someone that just looks good. You want someone that is good. It's easy for anyone to put on makeup and pretend to be this or that. Yeah, I can hook you up with some beautiful girls. But do they have any side, anything inside here and anything inside here? That's the thing. Well, your heart is in center. It's not on here. But 
Des, a higher vibration women, those were two high vibration girls that I really enjoy sitting down talking to. And there was another one from Canada that she came in from Vegas too that I met and we walked around. That, so those were three high vibration girls too that I met and I enjoyed our relationship. But if I were to settle for less and kept with low vibration, I would have never met those girls. Now, don't get me wrong, I have been with low vibrational girls and being with low vibrational girls, I really don't enjoy it too much because it's like, outside of a sexual pleasure, there's really nothing else that I enjoy here. So yeah, you don't see anything long term with a low vibrational person. And so that's the uh, temporary persons that you just have sex with. Instead of you just like saying, oh, I'm gonna watch porn or I'm gonna look at nudie magazines or uh, stuff like that, that's all low vibration. That's super, super low vibrational stuff. And once you're semen retention and you're practicing no fab, you're starting to increase your vibration from a pool of way down here of just looking at chicks on the internet to actually being around them. And then from being around them to actually talking to them. And from just talking to them to actually hanging out with them. And from just hanging out with them to having very intimate and engaging in fun, converse, beautiful conversations and, you know, relationships with them. And so that's kind of like the different things of raising your vibration. How you do that, you have to let go of a lot of stuff to allow yourself and to allow, I could say, attraction to put you in the room with those people. And then now it's going to be easier for you to have more of a controlled life that you want, have more of a desired life that you want, rather than having just this low vibrational group, right, if that makes sense. And so one way, one cheat code to do that is semen retention and no fab. And that's for my guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's me, Jeremiah. I'm gonna start recording some different types of videos. Subscribe, like this video, and then I'm gonna see you in the future.